USHL. And then in Haverville, Massachusetts for a bit as well. In comes Lysel on the power play, and another penalty coming up as he gets taken down by Lawrence Lidner. He signaled a penalty shot. The referee signaled a penalty shot. No, he hasn't been rewarded with a goal, but it hasn't been from any lack of opportunity or effort. And that may get taken care of right now here on this penalty shot. Fabian Lysel in on Ranishit. Goes to the forehand. Ranishit stays with him. Gets the left pad down and makes a real good stop. And much to the relief of Lorenz Lidner. And Lysel moving quickly, but Ranishit just stays so stable in his, in his positioning and he, he never opens up and Lysel now trying to come back. He's in too tight, can't get the puck over the pad. That was a good move by Lysel, but a really good save by Ranishitz. Power play continues for Sweden. Helga Grands, he'll send it, get it back, wires it from the line, block. Chased down by Rosine. Sends it down for Ogren, back for Rosine. Up top, Grands. Back for Rosine, who does have a goal in this game and two in the tournament. And another block up top. Geifers has had a number of blocks. Injured in the second period. Sharp score. What a goal. Fabian Lysel up top, short side. Power play marker and 5 0 Sweden. Well, you know, the same, get on to the next play. You know, park everything that, you know, didn't work in your favor behind you. Well, Fabian Lysel puts that uh, saying to work. Here's the penalty shot. Real good move. And Ranishitz with a real good save. But Lysel has been in and around it all game long. And he comes in here. A little quick play. And what a shot. Just he sees that opening over the right shoulder of Ranishitz. And there's not much there. And boy, he puts it right there, a little bit off the mask, it looks like, and rewarded deservedly. Doesn't get much more perfect than that.